guys, welcome to today's video. Today I wanted to do another spring eyeshadow look to take a snappy of to use as B-roll for my upcoming spring palette video. And I thought I'd bring you along with me and just do full face of a spring look. Nothing new. Nothing new here at all. So you may already have some of these things. And I also thought, let's do a chatty. Let's do a chatty. So I'm going to start with foundation. I am wearing sunscreen. I've mixed two new sunscreens to me, which I really think I love. And to bind, I feel like I actually have some coverage, so I don't feel like I want to do a full a full thing. I think I'm going to go the Westman Atelier way, and I have three and two. This is two, this is the three, and I'm just going to do it the way she does, which is kind of spot and she just puts it where she needs it. This is the Kat Von D powder brush. It's oftentimes on sale. And Hindosh uses this a lot for foundations and that's why I got it. And I'm just gonna pick out the lightest color and bring some lightness to the center of the face. So this is number two. I don't think, you guys, I have ever done a chatty get ready with me. There's, it's not that I don't have stuff to chat about, it's just that I have made a conscious decision that YouTube is not the appropriate place for me to talk about deeply personal things. There's a lot of people who will, you know, tell you about their emotional issues and everything else, and I don't want to do that. But. When it comes to makeup, I can tell you my emotional issues about that without a problem. <laughs> so I'm just kind of lightening up the center of the face and just making sure that it feathers nicely. So that was the two. And now I'm going to go in with the three. The areas where I have sun damage and stuff, just kind of knock that down a little bit. So I have been going through something lately. <laughs> I, I don't know what it is, but I have been feeling less and less connected to the YouTube beauty scene. Not that I feel connected. And I'm going to get right here where I have redness. But when I say community, I mean, I have made comments, nice comments, and reached out, and the whole bit, but nobody wants me. I mean, the people I follow don't want me. Um, which is fine, you know, it's, it's, I, it does make me feel a lot like I'm in high school, like, you're not good enough for our circle. And it makes it even worse, not a day goes by, not a freaking day, excuse me, goes by, when one of the people I follow doesn't say, my good friend, blah, 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 another YouTuber. And I really think they may not even know it, it might, be not, it might not be fully aware of it, there's a hair somewhere, but when you do things like that, it's pretty much saying, we're the cool girls, and you're not. I'm popular, and you're not. This is our little circle, and you can watch from outside. So high school, and I'm kind of getting over it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Now, this has been happening for some time, and I've been feeling kind of icky about it for some time. You know women, they don't they don't come up right away and say, hey, this bothers me. They wait until it's good and festered. <laughs> Whether it's at work or in a relationship, and then it's like an explosion. Women and men are just kind of wired differently in that way, I think. There's a story, or uh, not a story, um, I cannot think of the right word. My brain yesterday started, I could feel my brain go, eh, 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 stop, I, I, we stopped. And I think it's because I didn't drink any water at all yesterday. But um, I, will, I will no doubt remember that word and I'll put it right here. But it's, you know, a man goes into an office to tell his boss, I'm done, I'm out of here, goodbye, nice knowing you. And the boss, who we can assume is a man, assumes, oh, it's negotiation time. Please stay. We'll give you this, this, and this, and they shake their hands and it's done. When a woman goes into her boss's office and say, I, I'm done, bye-bye, 
She means it. She's been pondering it for months. She has made herself crazy. She's had knots in her stomach. She's asked advice from everybody, including the bus driver, what she should do about her work situation. So when she comes in to say bye-bye, she means it. It's not, oh, please stay. Let us double your salary and give you uh, three cars. No, I'm, I'm freaking done with you. So when I mention this, it's not like this has just come up. It's been festering in me. And I recognize this 100%, you guys. Let's talk about the eyeshadow. This is the Natasha Denona. I think it says coral, but I'm not sure. And this, to me, this darkness right here, super dark. So this could go fall for sure. But if you do this side, spring for sure. So let's give it a go. <sighs> Hi, sweet girl. Yeah, you're a good baby. You go get some sun. Um, now, I, I kind of forgot where I was. Oh, yes, let me say this. I, I recognize that nobody has the power to hurt you. And, you know, a lot of people can say, okay, I am the duck, you are the water. I'm just going to let it roll off. It's not about me. And it's not about me. I, I get that. N nothing has happened to me. Nobody has been mean to me. It's just that they, they design their stuff to... They do. This is our clique, and you can watch from outside. 100%. And so my choices are <laughs> not watch. I don't know. I just feel like I am not connecting with this world. I have been watching, uh, and this is the Chikahoto brush. I can't remember the number, but I'll put it down below. Puppy videos, dogs who were rescued videos, uh, the beagle named Oliver videos, because I have a beagle myself. And I have been watching them with the same kind of excitement and interest that I used to watch beauty videos. I mean, I used to be like, ooh, this is coming. Okay, I want to see this. Ooh, yes. Ooh, I want to see what she has to say about this. And now it it just feels more like a chore. It's more like, oh, do I want to watch this? Or, well, I'm going to massage my face, so I may as well watch this. Do you know what I mean? Because I'm just not connecting with them. I'm just not connecting at all. And rather, they're not connecting with me. I, I don't know. I know that, yes, the problem is me, but I'm just looking for, I, I don't know, you know, like what am I looking for? It's just not happening for me right now. So watching beauty videos is more of a chore for me and something I'll do when I give myself a massage in the morning. But other than that, it's more like, well, I, I have to see what's coming up and I have to, I'm curious to see what they think about this or, or whatever. But it's not because there's joy in it for me anymore. It's like my joy is, is watching the Beatles and watching the happy stuff, the stuff about rebirth and about second chances and all that stuff. That's floating my boat right now. And um, yeah, it's just, it makes me very, very sad. I'm not saying it's right. I recognize that this is my problem. But this is how I'm feeling. I just don't, I do not connect right here. And I've actually unfollowed a couple of people who, there are times when people also say things that I think are just beyond rude and obnoxious, and they don't even realize it. I mean, when I say something rude, I know I am. You know what I mean? <laughs> I know it. I have... <laughs> I have the consciousness to know that's not very nice, but I think they are. There are people out there who don't even know what they're saying is incredibly rude. Especially, I, I, I don't want to get too into it and give a lot of examples here, but I will say one thing: a lot of them make ages comments that are so natural to them that they don't even know they're ageist. And the first time I hear someone do that, I'm kind of like, whoa, really? Because it's the last safe place to be, you know? That's the last safe place you can be an asshole, is make a comment about... I, I saw somebody once say something about packaging being old lady, and I'm like, 
There's not some monolithic old lady somewhere. This is the old lady. This is what old lady perfume smells like and old lady packaging smells like. It's just beyond rude. Now, some people are not as obvious uh, when they say that. They're a little more ee, 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 behind the back, little stabber rooney, passive aggressive kind of stuff. But I see it a lot. It's like the one safe thing. One person who I unfollowed recently is always going on about inclusivity. Now, there's nothing like the, the white savior complex. She probably doesn't even know what it is. It's, um, it's not that cool, but she probably doesn't know what it is. But she um, has a line where she was so inclusive, she included in the campaign men and women. Every color spectrum you can think of, um, Asian, black, different shades, Latina, of, of everybody. But she didn't have anyone over 30. And she doesn't seem to understand what inclusive means because her worldview is coming from someone in their 20s. That's all they can see is what they know. And that's, you know, they. It, I don't generally think it occurs to them that they too will get old and they're not going to appreciate that kind of stuff when they get old. And it will be that way when they get old because they are probably part of the problem instead of part of the solution. If they were being inclusive and not so ageist, maybe by the time they're in their 50s, it'll be gone. But yes, they're part of the problem. All right, so just did a little a little something something at the lash line. If you're not super hooded, you could deepen up, you know, on the edge of your eyeball, but because I'm so hooded, it just looks sloppy when I do that. And I have to say that I think my hood on this side is getting worse in the weirdest way. And this side, you know, if you've been here before, is just so, so different because my tear duct gland protrudes here. It seems like there's a little more hood and there's just there's just a lot of stuff on this side, and this side is more normal. So I can oftentimes get a good look here, and I cannot match it up here. So in this case, I'm not going to do that deepening up kind of situation. I'm just doing it by the lash line. But I think I'm going to go in again with something smaller and really get it deep at that lash line. So anyway, I think I'm just going to not talk about this anymore because I don't want to get on a soapbox. I'm just telling you how I'm feeling right now and how I've just been really out of sorts when it comes to YouTube for the past couple of weeks or maybe even a month. It's like it's been creeping up on me and I can't figure out what exists exactly. I can just say this is what I'm feeling. I'm feeling unconnected. I'm feeling like an outsider looking in and I also feel that it is designed to be that way and I'm not saying it's such a Machiavellian thing that they sat down and said let's do things that'll make everyone else feel bad about themselves and let everybody know that we're the Queens now that has already transferred right up here that happens when you're super hooded and you line with a powder so I'm just going to work that in a little bit and just make sure the fade is pretty decent right here and I think that's really, really lovely. But it's not really, really spring because it is a, it's a little warm. But this color is so, 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 so pretty. When you put this on top of it, it changes the game. So that's what we're going to do. I think I'm just going to do everywhere. We'll, we'll start right here and see what happens. So you can see it a little bit right here, but I think I just want to touch the entire eyeball and get it almost to the top. Now again, because I'm hooded, all of this is just going to migrate into each other and not stay in one place because, you know, the lids are rubbing against each other all day long. All right, now I am going to stop with the eyes, but we are going to come back and continue on with the face. Now for cheeks, I wanted to do something lavender to catch this lavender. And this every time, this is why I don't use these, you guys. Every time 
nothing comes out and I have to dip in a couple of times. So this is what it looks like and we're just going to start really light. Now, the other day I posted a video about blush shapes. Not a lot of people watched it, but I got so many comments that were encouraging and said, thank you so much, this totally makes sense, one of these looks worked for me, or I've been so frustrated with my blush. Just a really, really nice response. In that video, I spoke about one other shape, but I didn't illustrate it. And I'm going to illustrate it here. So there's my initial color, and that is an 8. So the whole face would be the 8. So half an 8 here, half an 8 here. But it's small right here, and then right here. So here's like the circle. And this is quite sheer, so it shouldn't be... That's just my guideline, my finger. And you'll probably go over it a little bit when you work on the edges. And now, the same thing on the eye. So just the teeniest amount in this case, but it's right on this edge right here. Just the teeniest bit, and there's kind of a boom, boom, boom right there. Eye to eye, the teeniest, teeniest thing, but I hope you can see how it brings the cheek and the eye together, and it just does a little something for the shape of the face. It's not as obvious, I think, as the other ones that I did, but hard to say because it's going to be hard to line up here. Bing, 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 bing. Now I forgot what I was saying. Because I'm using a different kind of blush color. And I want to be very subtle with it. Boop, boop. Now I'm going to let that set up and go back to the eyes. This is a pencil from Marc Jacobs. I'll put it down below because I can't read the color. And I've lost the sharpener. And I haven't used this in a while, but I love this particular color because it's a color that exists in a child's eyelid. That kind of purpley, veiny look, or that slight transparent, slightly lilac look on young children's lids, like this. And I used to use this when I wanted to give my eyes a little bit of shape, but I didn't want to do anything obvious, hard, or heavy that will make my eyes look smaller. And it's pretty much something I, I do this with. I should probably do my concealer first and just pull it out the teeniest, teeniest, teeniest bit. And I feel like I got the teeniest bit of lift and a little bit more emphasis without darkening and making everything smaller. Of course, when I have my concealer on, um, you'll see without my concealer, everything does look a little dark. So let's go into concealer. I'm going to do a dedicated video to this because I've been asked about it, even though I feel like I've been showing it in my videos since I bought this, but this is the Charlotte Tilbury Corrector in 2, medium, and I just swirl around, and I'm using the wrong finger, I usually do with the ring, swirl around, boom, and transfer to the other one. So now we have some on both look up because when you look up it makes the under eye a little more taut and just put that in there and kind of massage it a little bit. The idea is I wanted this to get into the crepes and this is my darkest area so this is the only place I'm putting it just right on the inside. You guys I have no idea when the camera stopped. So I did my concealer, my under eyes, and I just did a little bit of powder. Now I'm just going to get all the powder off this brush. I'm not putting more on, I just want to take off any excess powder. All right, concealer, done. This is the Chanel Limited Edition Bronze, and I just love this, I've said it many times. It's just different. Now, I'm going to add another blush. I'm not going to do my brows. I want them to be pretty soft. But I'm going to go in with the Barapapa. 
in the Surat. It's going to take this Sukyu brush and go into Bara Papa. And I'm not sweeping like I usually do because of the foundation I'm using. It's a little too emollient. I just don't feel comfortable doing a sweeping motion. I think I might pick up too much onto my brush. And there's something about this shade that is just the teeniest bit kind of poppy. It's not aggressive, but it's like, ooh, I think it just changed the look quite a bit. Now, let's talk about lips. I got something the other day from Beautylish, and they sent me this Crevinaquan Glass Glow Lip. And I happen to have this. This is, I think it's probably called the Glass Glow Face. And this is in the clear color. I used this for a video I did on glass skin some time ago. And so since I'm going to do that on the lip, I'm going to do this on the face, just looking for an empty place. And this is a gel-like situation. And there she is, quite concentrated. I'm just going to take a little bit on my finger. And I already have this shine here from the Bar Papa. So I'm just really kind of going for the shine. Do this to take off any excess and melt this in at the highest point. I'm not going to move around too much because I don't want to take off any of my foundation or my sunscreen. And finally, we're going to go in with this and make the lip pretty simple. Look at all that blue. I don't know if you can see it. It's not my thing, you guys, but it's the kind of thing I really like getting in a sample because I wouldn't normally buy it. But it is pretty. And it feels, it's a little heavy, but it doesn't feel drying. It feels like this actually might have ingredients that are good for the lips in it. Something you could just put on, have in the car or something. But it really, I'm really getting the blue in it though. I'm not going to do anything to the brows. I just want them to be pretty soft for this look. And that is it, you guys. So that's my chatty get ready with me. I did a little bit of emotional unloading as it relates to the beauty world. And I do, I believe me, I've been thinking about this for months, you guys. And I, should I say something? Should I not say something? You know, where is the line of what I want to share? I know on a personal level where that line is, but I don't know on a less personal level. So this is personal because it's all the stuff going on in my head, but it's not related to really personal stuff. It's related to this world that we're all kind of a part of, whether you are someone who makes videos or someone who watches videos, it's all part of us. And to me, the my place in this world is you guys. You guys are the one who connect with me, who say hello, who say, oh, I like that, oh, I'm not sure about that, that didn't work for me. That's my connection. It's not with, and I, I don't think it, I, I wonder that it will ever be with other YouTubers who I admire so much, and I make comments on, and I, I just feel like it's like, you know, it's a little bit of rejection every time you make a comment, and nobody says anything back. And yet I know, <laughs> 100% usually you don't it's just I guess because my channel is so small I try to comment to most people I don't comment if somebody says something that it's just I can't there's nothing I can say for it you know what I mean sometimes there's nothing I can do with the comment but I try to either like saying I see you I hear you thank you for connecting with me or comment to 95% of what I get I know that I'm a very small channel but there are YouTubers who have 600,000 and they get hundreds of comments and they comment to fewer people than I do. <laughs> and I don't know, it just feels like rejection. It, I know it's wrong. I am revealing to you a lot about my personal neuroses and I'm not so sure I'm excited to reveal that, to tell you the honest truth. But yeah, that's kind of where I am right now. I'm just in a very weird place and um, you know I just keep my head down and do my thing and it's just um, whatever issues that you have you you bring them to you in every venue that you play in so it's like oh yeah right 
I had this problem in high school, here it is. Oh yeah, right, I had this problem at uh, work at an office, here it is. It keeps on coming back. So it's obviously, I can't change other people, but I can change how I let it affect me and uh, how I interpret things. And I think my choice is just to interpret them as, one, it's not about me. It can't possibly be about me because no one knows who I am. So it's all up here and I have to change my perception. Thank you so much for spending some time with me and I appreciate it and I appreciate you and I hope you keep on coming back. And if you're new here, thank you for being here. I hope you consider coming back. And uh, yeah, be smart and safe. And I'm wishing you good health.